Phosphoglucomutase is an enzyme involved in glycogenesis and glycogenolysis, the buildup and breakdown of glycogen. Phosphoglucomutase interconverts glucose 1-phosphate and glucose 6-phosphate. In glycogenesis, glucose 6-phosphate must be converted to glucose 1-phosphate for the next enzymes to proceed to build up glycogen. In glycogenolysis, glucose 1-phosphate is a metabolic dead end that's about as useful as nipples on a man. By conversion to glucose 6-phosphate, it can proceed towards other pathways such as glycolysis on the pentose phosphate pathway. In solution, the enzyme forms dimers. Shown are two monomers of the enzyme. Each monomer consists of four domains. The purple area in the middle is the active site, and here's a close-up of it. In the center is a bivalent metal ion, usually magnesium or cadmium. It's unclear what exactly its function is, but it's necessary for enzymatic activity. Surrounding the metal ion are three aspartate residues that stabilize it in place. Last but not least, the active site also contains phosphoserine 116, which is a phosphorylated serine residue, an example of a post-translational modification. It's this phosphoserine residue that directly interacts with the substrates for interconversion. Shown here is a proposed reaction mechanism for the enzyme. We'll cover the direction for glycogenolysis, but the same concepts apply for glycogenesis. First, phosphoserine 116 of the enzyme transfers its phosphoryl group to carbon-6 of glucose 1-phosphate. This forms the intermediate glucose 1,6-bisphosphate. The enzyme undergoes rapid diffusional reorientation to position the phosphoryl on the 1 carbon of glucose 1,6-bisphosphate immediately next to its dephosphorylated serine residue. The phosphoryl group is transferred from the 1 carbon to the serine 116 residue, regenerating the enzyme and forming the product glucose 6-phosphate. Going back to the structure of the enzyme, highlighted in green are all the hydrophobic residues. The active site is in the hydrophobic interior of the enzyme to prevent water from hydrolyzing phosphoester bonds that are formed during enzymatic activity. And now we'll discuss regulation of phosphoglucomutase. Phosphoglucomutase itself is not a major site of regulation, but it can be regulated by downstream effects. For example, glucagon and epinephrine activate glycogenolysis and inhibit glycogenesis. Insulin acts conversely. They work by triggering signal transduction pathways. In the case of glucagon and epinephrine, they result in the conversion of ATP to CAMP. This results in the activation of a downstream of enzymes that ultimately activate the required enzymes for glycogenolysis while simultaneously inhibiting enzymes for glycogenesis. Citrate and ATP can also have downstream effects on glycogen metabolism by regulating phosphofructokinase, which is an enzyme in glycolysis. Phosphoglucomutase has several isozymes, such as phosphoglucomutase II, a major isozyme in human red blood cells. Diseases related to phosphoglucomutase are very rare, much like my father's approval. For example, symptoms of phosphoglucomutase I deficiency are an enlarged heart that's unable to efficiently pump blood, liver congestion, and exercise intolerance. Symptoms of phosphoglucomutase III deficiency are immune deficiency, autoimmunity, and learning and developmental disabilities. In addition to medical care, patients with these diseases must carefully monitor their blood glucose levels as they're unable to make or break glycogen. This can involve frequent meals with small amounts of carbohydrates and limiting their level of exercise. In many cases, these diseases are fatal from a young age. And now for an abrupt segue. I collaborated with J.O. the Beat Slayer and the Fire Marshal to drop the hottest mixtape of the spring 2018 semester. Some people learn differently, and maybe this next approach will prove to be a useful pedagogical endeavor.
Pause for glucose, mutases beyond great Converts glucose 1 into glucose 6 Phosphate, it has a system, it has a rhythm Besides you really need it for metabolism We don't need phosphate 1 We need to change phosphate glucose mutase Gets it done and it moves with such movement Made of four movement. domains, four alpha, beta subunits Now that you understand how it works Now understand how it does in reverse It transfers a false faith from six to one If your blood glucose is high, I'm not telling a lie, it's cool Seeing a move, every muscle has PGM1, PGM2 Lack of can lead to disease, which is rare and hard to see So I suggest you watch what you eat Talk about this, is it really tough to me? Because this enzyme is always stuck to me It's in you to understand it as well Also in every plant and animal cell Phosphoglucobutase is so slick Turning glucose 1 into glucose 6 